The holiday travel season is ramping up, and Orlando International is expected to have record traffic coming up. With that increase comes more security. Yeah, News 6 investigator Eric Sandoval went behind the scenes with Customs and Border Protection to see how new tools are helping keep Central Florida safe. Orlando International Airport was the first airport in the country to experiment with this new screening technology. Now, four years later, it's being rolled out to airports across the country. When the passengers deplane, they come down, make the line here. U.S. Customs and Border Protection Officer Jonathan Augusto took New 6 inside the international arrivals area here at Orlando International, where passengers from around the world are screened to make sure that they're allowed to enter this country legally. That's the first and last line of defense to this country. You know, if that officer did not send someone that should be back there, the person is in. So that's what this job is the most important job here in our agency. According to their own numbers, customs officers at OIA have seen a 214 percent increase in the number of international passengers over the last year, due partially to relaxed COVID rules. That's roughly 1.4 million more passengers than last year. And that means on any given afternoon, 600 people could be waiting in this line to be screened. Augusto jumped into hell. Hey, how you doing today? And he showed us firsthand how they're streamlining the screening process. It's facial recognition technology called simplified arrival. Agents take a picture of the passenger. A computer then compares that photo to one it's taken in the past. And it also compares the person's name against the airline's passenger lists. The result? Augusto says the lines move faster and visitors can start their Orlando vacation sooner. But as you might expect, not all passengers are cleared. This is the secondary processing area. Mm -hmm. right, so when the officer cannot complete the inspection on primary or there's something that we need to uh, dig a little bit further, mm -hmm. this is where uh, people uh, are sent. They wait here, the officer do some other checks on the system, more in-depth search. Um, and that's when uh, the person can be processed completely. New 6 investigated, and since it was rolled out, the simplified arrival system has intercepted nearly 1,500 imposters who were using someone else's travel documents to get into the United States. Here in Central Florida, it's helped customs officers stop more than 7,900 people who were not eligible to enter the country. We're just looking for legitimate travel as long as their intent matches their story and everything checks out, that's what we're looking for. And with a 98% accuracy rating, customs officers say this facial recognition screening is getting results. At Orlando International Airport, Eric Sandoval getting results. News 6. Now, Eric investigated what kind of passenger traffic other Central Florida airports are seeing. You can find more on our website. Head to clickorlando.com and look under the investigators.